Hey gang, thanks for tuning into your review channel. So today we're actually hooking up the mode roller uh, that I did an unboxing on a few days ago. So if you didn't see that, check out that un unboxing of this uh, mode roller, uh, Wi-Fi and also cable modem built in uh, into the system here. So I'm hooking it up. I'm replacing the Xfinity uh, one that came with it. I'm not gonna pay that 12 to $15 every single month. That's absolutely ridiculous. That's a ton of money and it's not just worth it. So I got this motor roller right here. It's a 28 times a cable modem, model number uh, MT7711. That's what I got right here. And I'm just gonna hook this up. I'm gonna show you how to hook it up right now. So first thing you want to do is disconnect the old modem, right? So that's simple enough. So we're gonna disconnect the modem. We're gonna plug everything into the new modem. We're gonna hook it up and they basically go to Xfinity dot com slash activate and that's all you pretty much have to do that to short version so what we have to do is first get everything connected plug everything into the ports um, and then we'll get everything set up so let's do that right now so we're going to hook up the power supply we're going to take off the old cable wire we're going to put the cable wire here they did give us a little tool to do that which is actually really nice i have the power supply right here um, so once we plug it all in let's get that done and then we're going to have this light's going to go on and once the light is solid it says you can start going online and then going to the next step. So I'm gonna get all that done, uh, hook it all up, and then we're gonna get to the activation screen. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get this going. Just make sure in the bottom of your, of your of your modem here, take a picture of the Mac number. That's the you need that Mac number to activate it. Uh, just take a picture of your phone before you start. And that's pretty much it. Okay, let's get into the activation. We're gonna plug it in and see what happens. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I appreciate your time as always. Let's go. Okay guys, you can see I have everything hooked up here. I have the uh, ethernet cable hooked up uh, to my router, which goes to my main computer, which is uh, one way of doing it, which I think is probably the easiest way. Hook up right into your computer basically, and it just right into the, the router port. And you can just uh, upload uh, the passwords really easily right there. It's a power supply. Here is the cable. Let's turn it on. Everything's lighting up. Now it says it takes around 10, 15 minutes to get the signal to come in. That's where the waiting is to take this off so you can see right here. So we're waiting for the globe to be sawed. So it takes around 15 minutes. Let's let that do its thing and we'll check back and see what happens. Okay, so now just let it do its thing. It's gonna upload and download some patches, some software, all that kind of stuff. It's gonna get everything synced up and, and ready to go. Make sure you have Xfinity uh, Comcast uh, service for your internet. Make sure you have that. And eventually it will be a solid globe just like you see here. So get that solid. Once you do, then you got to put that MAC address in. The MAC address is below your, your modem. So make sure you take a picture of that before you start. That way you have it in your phone. So when I ask you to put it in, you don't have to go crazy. It's right there. Just look at that number and it's the MC MAC. That's the MAC address. Once you do that, go to the Xfinity app and you'll see activate now. So go to the, hit activate now, and then you're gonna see the next screen is what? Activate your own modem. That's what you wanna hit. So click on that, your own modem. You put your MAC address in, you're gonna activate everything, and it's good to go. You're gonna just wait about five minutes or so, and you're just gonna sit there, and it's gonna give you the activation service. It's gonna say about five minutes. It took around 15, just to be clear. Um, it's going up and down, it's doing a lot of patches. I kept on rebooting over and over. So don't be worried about that. It just keeps shutting down and restarting, shutting down and restarting. That is totally normal. It's just gonna keep doing its thing. Um, and if you have the phone line hooked up, that takes a few minutes too as well. That's gonna blink for a while. And let's do a quick uh, speed test, as you can see here, once I got everything up and running. A decent speed test around that's pretty decent about 700 megabits per second 800 i was getting close to 800 uh for download which is pretty decent actually and that's directly out of the modem itself and then up the upload speeds were decent as well um, around 36 38 almost 40 right around there and that's actually pretty good upload speed as well uh so that's all you have to do so it's pretty simple to do and you can see the uh, the belt the little phone in the bottom that's flashing it's actually resetting the phone so the phone's going to get reset up so the phone's going to work the internet works and so far i'm using it and i'm absolutely loving it it's working perfectly if you guys have any questions or comments leave it down below don't forget to like share and subscribe it does help me out quite a bit and i do appreciate it and i'll see you at the next one